Uh, it is day 11 of Nana here in Sydney. I'm feeling a little rough this morning. Last night was a little bit of an ordeal to get my daughter into bed. Now we are here with me having hit snooze on my alarm twice with the result that I'm like, Oh, starting like 10 minutes late this morning. Hey guys, it's Deborah, and I'm here with an update on how I'm finding the second week of NaNoWriMo. Last year, in my NaNoWriMo novel, I had several points of emotional tension where the crits I had gotten back were all of the dialogue felt a little bit on the nose and the whole scene was a little over dramatic. So what I really wanted to do this time around was get better at putting subtext into my scenes. I am in the middle of writing a scene that has kind of gotten out of control. I did not plan on the scene to happen. I, it kind of just happened. I was writing one of the earlier chapters and I, um, for whatever reason, my discovery writing brain decided to just sneak in an unplanned element of a romance subplot in there. I don't actually read uh, romance at all. Normally when I when I read romance, it's, it's usually an incidental part of whatever fantasy or sci-fi novel that I'm reading. I just, ugh, rom romance is just kind of not my thing. There's so much romantic tension in this thing that I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know why I did this to myself. I feel like just going outside might do me some good because like I can feel myself starting to get a headache. Um, but I don't want to go too far because I kind of don't want to miss my cat's food delivery. The the scene that I've been working on since 5am um, this morning has just been a really difficult scene to write with a whole bunch of subtext. Sub subtext is just so hard, guys. It's been a bit of a struggle trying to keep everything in my head. I am currently in between sprints. Just had to go outside today just to kind of breathe and just kind of think about where my book is going next. I'm nearly two and a half thousand words into the scene. We are now at a point at the break into two where the, the character has to kind of make a decision. They've had their confrontation, they've had their fight, uh, but there is still so much unresolved stuff in the scene that I'm just like, oh, and this scene has to keep going. I, I, I can't end it here. It's, you know, there, there's unfinished discussion to be having. I really, I really kind of don't know what to do with this romance in my book right now. I actually asked everybody on the live stream whether or not there should be a dramatic declaration of love or whether I should draw out the unresolved tension. The vote was split. Thanks guys, so helpful. When I go back in 20 minutes or so, this scene is either going to end up in a super awkward situation where the two characters are just going to kind of awkwardly not talk to each other ever again about what just happened or they're gonna end up in bed together. I, I, I don't know. Somebody dropped five cents. I saw it when I was on my way down to the park and on my way back, it is still here. Rahila would pick the coin up. So I have picked the coin up and I suppose it is a sign from the as yet unnamed deity of fortune from my novel. It's been a bit of a struggle trying to keep everything in my head and also working out all of the blocking in this room because they're meant to be in this super tiny space, which is you know, great for creating uh, tension in the situation, but not great for my writer brain because I am this close to sitting down with a scrap piece of paper and actually drawing out where all of the furniture in the room is and plotting out distances so I can just kind of work out how much space there is for them to maneuver around. This is why I hate setting up new locations. Why, why do I do these things to myself? I don't know. Thank you. You too. Other than my current dilemma though, I'm feeling good overall about Nano. One thing I have been bouncing around with on stream is trying out shorter 50 minute sprints instead of the longer 100 minute sprints that I was initially doing. and. I have to say, after two days of switching between the two, the 100 minute sprint is working out much better for me. I feel like with the shorter sprints, by the time I get into the scene and really get into my character's head, it's like, it's, it's over. I think where I got to after my walk is that it's probably gonna end somewhat awkwardly. I am not ready to tackle the world building implications of whether or not birth control, effective birth control actually exists. You know, maybe that's not the best way to uh, make these kind of decisions, but I'm just like, I, 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 I can't cope with that world building decision right now. So, um, 
judge away but I am like this, this is not happening. Given that decision I think I'm fairly confident I can actually finish off this thing by the end of today. That's really not your food. Sorry bud. But writing on stream has been really good to me. I've been fortunate to be able to get into a flow state quite a bit during these sprints. But I am feeling more and more certain that this book is not going to be done by 75,000 words. In fact if the first arc was any indication, it's probably going to be at least 100,000 words, if not 120,000. And mentally, I'm just like, whoa, what are you doing, Jeff? When you set the goal of 75,000 words, you were doing that because you were a little bit intimidated to plot something as big as a 100,000 or 120,000 story. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Apparently we're doing this. So yeah. oh, good luck to me. At this point, I very much doubt I will finish the whole book before the end of Nano. So I may continue these live streams into the future, into December at least. Although I will probably pare back how many I am doing on a daily basis because the schedule has been quite punishing and I do not know if I can sustain something like this for the long term. At the moment, I am leaning towards doing a daily writing session just because it's nice to be in the daily habit of writing. I've found that to be a really good rhythm for me. Although I may think about doing like a longer single day just so I can get into whatever scene or chapter I am writing. I have been finding that when I don't manage to finish off a scene in one day, I, I really struggle to get back into the same place I was at mentally when I started that scene. And I feel like that's resulted in some uneven tone and prose in say chapter four, for example, where I had a scene that I was writing across multiple days. But I shall reassess based on data at the end of Nano because by then I will have a lovely little spreadsheet full of all of my writing data and I'll be able to make a data-driven decision. Oh, okay, I swear, I'm done. I am done. I am done with this stupid scene. Oh my goodness, why, why? Why? Oh, why? Just, just why? It took me the entire day, nearly eight hours of writing to finish off this one scene. I mean, granted it was a huge scene, nearly 4,000 words, but uh, I am done. And I have completely wrapped act one of my book. In all honesty, it was even more difficult to write than the ginormous brawl scene with a hundred people moving around in it in chapter four. I have just sat here rereading the scene um, a couple of times and I don't hate it. Right now I am at 38,000 words or so and tomorrow I get to start on the second part of my book because my outline for the rest of this book is non-existent. I feel like progress is gonna be slower now because I'm truly in uncharted waters, but we shall soldier on in the spirit of experimentation that is NaNoWriMo. All in all, I'm feeling really good about week two, so let's hope this trend continues as we go into week 